Rob Cat has been telling us that Waterford footballers haven't had a championship win in their province uh, in 14 years. How has it finished, Rob? It has finished, Des, and the majority of the thousand plus people here at Farfield are on the pitch because it's a magical occasion here in Waterford because they've beaten Tipperary by 2 7 to 1 5, a result which looked highly unlikely at half time when they trailed by 1 2 to 1 point after playing with the breeze in the first 35 minutes. Tip got off to that magical start after just two minutes. Carl Dealey's point attempt was kept in play by Mark Stokes and he found room to fire to the route to the under the, the Waterford keeper, Paddy Hunt, and make it one goal to no score. That was after only two minutes. Tip dominated the first half despite playing against the wind. Stephen Grogan made it 1-1 to no score after 14 minutes and Rian Quigley then made it 1-2 to no score after 24 minutes. It was a very low scoring first half. Waterford had to wait 30 minutes for their opening score and their only score of the first half. That came courtesy of Stephen Curry but they trailed by 1-2 to one point and as we said they were heading into the second half against a, a huge uh, a huge wind which we, we figured was, was a five or six point wind before the game but this is when Waterford finally woke up and the comeback started. Two minutes into the second half, Stephen Curry pointed his second point of the afternoon before Tom O'Connell made it 1-2 to 3 points on 43 minutes. Waterford kept that Tipperary Curry again to make it 1-2 to 4 points after 45 minutes and Waterford finally got level on 48 minutes when Tom O'Connell kicked his second free of the afternoon to make it all square 1-2 to 5 points. Tip hit back courtesy of a Peter McGarry point but Waterford weren't finished and they meant business. Tom O'Connell's third free made it 6 points to 1-3 on 50 52 minutes before Tipperary got their noses in front and it looked as though the dream and the fairy tale were going to be over when Teddy Doyle pointed from 30 metres out. But then came the first of two Waterford goals and the first of two Tom O'Connell goals. Alan Dunwoody, a sub, made brilliant inroads down the left-hand side. He slipped the ball to O'Connell and he fisted home on 67 minutes to put Waterford two points in front, 1-6 to 1-4. Jason Curry, we thought it was the insurance point that they might have needed. His free on 17 minutes made it 1-7 to 1-4. But two minutes after that, O'Connell struck again. He he was waiting in the wings after a Jason Curry effort came off the post and he just fired home into uh, an empty net to really put the cherry on top of the cake. Tipperary got a, a last gas consolation point courtesy of Conor Sweeney but a remarkable day, a remarkable second half performance from Waterford. Their first championship win as you said Des in 14 years. They might be playing Clare in 13 days but there's going to be some, some session here I, I'd have thought around the, the, the surrounding area in Waterford because it's a magical day and uh, they're into a, a Munster semi-final. They play Clare in 13 days time after beating Tipperary 2-7 to 1-5. That's brilliant. If they were to win that